name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now? Well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Jones, straight, Reba, Tritt, ha, all the greats. All the great what? Country singers. My brother sent these to me. These are antiques. They used to be my grandpa's. I thought you and your brother were close. We are close. Hey, I happen to love country music, I'll have you know. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Warning. You are exceeding the speed limit by 240% and rising. Hey, oh, that sounds really dangerous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you say we play a few tracks? Gee, that'd be swell, Haldane, but cruisers don't come equipped with sound systems. Grandpa's disc player. Haldane, we're on duty. <laughs> Oh, man, you're doing the paperwork on this one. Send a letter to my darling. Haldane! I didn't touch it, honest. This guy is whacked out of orbit. <laughs> Warning, you are exceeding the speed limit by 300% and rising. Rock and roll, blood. <laughs> Please keep a minimum of two hands on the controls at all times. <laughs> This is the police. Reduce your speed and descend to street level. This is your last warning. <laughs> Weird music. <laughs> I like it. Man, what's he up to now? No, he's not gonna. He is. <laughs> I'm gonna name my first ulcer after this guy. Afternoon, officers. What the hell you think you're doing anyway? Oh. Hey, I, I want to shoot you. Yeah, well, I got a better idea. Why don't you try these on for size? Oh, handcuffs are no good, officer. You see, I'm Marcus Drew, strongest tarn in Demeter City. <laughs> and maybe the strongest tarn in. in. Uh, 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 no! Whoa. No! Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh! It's a 
hell of a way to beat a speeding ticket. What's that awful noise? That awful noise, as you call it, is classic country music. Classic? You worry me, Haldane. I do. Not in the way you think. Ah, I see. Now you know what I'm thinking. Do you go out of your way to annoy me, or does it just come naturally? <laughs> Enough, you two. What about our vaporized driver, Jane? Right. Take a look at the late Marcus June's ID. No arrests, no convictions. Traffic tickets? Nothing. He was a librarian. Couldn't be cleaner. Or debtor. One minute he's on top of the world, the next poof, hot air. Well, sounds like too much flash. Flash? That street jargon for Demeter's latest drug of choice. Users love it until they OD. Then, boom. No more user. Tell me about it. Thanks a lot, Jane. We'll check with this landlady and see what she can tell us about him. I, I just can't believe this. Marcus was always a very quiet, respectable young tar. So shy, really. You know, he worked at the Demeter City Library. In fact, in the entire time he stayed here, he never once took a vacation. He really was a perfect tenant. Kept himself to himself, never caused problems or made any noise, paid his rent on time. Uh -huh. Look, did he have any um, close friends or relatives, any regular visitors? He was a real loner. His parents passed away, oh, years ago. He didn't really like people. I suppose if you stop to think about it, I was the only real friend he had. I'm sure he'll be missed. Brogan. Yeah. HE11? Does that mean anything to you? No, not a fan. Where is it? What's this? Peru? I need to make a report. Yeah, we'll be with you in a minute, sir. No, now. I need to make a report. We're busy, sir. No, now. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just, well, my girlfriend's dealing flash, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, you can start by giving us a name. Polar Vad Munaki. And the address? That's the problem. We got in a fight, and she ran off. How about a description? I got a picture. Ah, even better. If you see her, maybe you could tell her. Well, you know, I I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Hey, slow-mo. Slow-mo, run an ID scan on this. Uh, and your name? Oh. Uh. According to Slomo, this polar character was last registered in a flop house in the Wharf District. Nice neighborhood. If she's dealing down there, she must be pretty low on the totem pole. You can't get much lower than dealing drugs to begin with. Demeter City Police. Identification. Okay. Polovad Monarchy. We've got a warrant to search your premises. Under suspicion of dealing Flash. Flash? Don't play dumb. Your boyfriend told us all about it. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? <laughs>
right into that one. Dumb. You feel dumb now. Wait till the captain hears our report. Uh. <sighs> Forensics confirmed it. The files Brogan and Haldane found in June's apartment are 100% flash, AKA HE11. And now it doesn't look much, does it? Just a tiny little bottle of bright blue liquid. Now, I want you all to see exactly what this stuff does. Sergeant Fredo. Cell security cams recorded this earlier today. Meet Amelia Cetric, age 52, a grandmother. No criminal record. She was arrested this morning for robbing a jewelry store. With this. She said something about breaking through the wall. Said she had the hardest head in Demeter City. But this is where we came in. Mm -hmm. Hit the streets, people. Dealers, distributors, manufacturers, anybody and everybody involved in the flash trade. I want them closed down and locked up, and I want it done yesterday. Took and I have been doing some research on the chemical makeup of flash. One of its key components is tetracrylene. Only two companies on Altor import this stuff. Which one do you want, Interchem or Chemtrix? Which one do you want? Haldane. What? Don't do this. Do what? You know exactly what. I do. Don't answer my questions with questions. I hesitate to mention it in front of two police officers, but uh, HE11, or Flash, as you call it, was developed here at Intercam. But uh, before you run me in, Allow me to say that we discontinued that research as soon as we discovered the drug's lethal side effect. We lost over three million credits on that program and we still haven't recovered. Why were you researching it in the first place? Well, we were trying to develop an ego enhancer, an artificial confidence booster for the low in self-esteem. Unfortunately, when the concentration of HE11 reaches a certain critical level in the blood, it triggers a chain reaction. And essentially, the Blood plasma converts to trioxyglycosone. Isn't that like Zemta? Yeah, it's only less stable. Body heat alone can set it off. Now, ironically, the drug is perfectly safe when used in moderation. The problem is when the user's confidence is boosted above a certain level. Moderation goes out the window. Exactly. Any idea how HE11 got on the streets? I can only think of one possibility. It's really pure conjecture. Yeah, all right. Come on, Doc. Cut to the chase. We're talking about saving lives here, Dr. Jansen. When the HE11 program was canceled, my chief chemist left rather suddenly. Perhaps you should talk to her. Her name is Pola Vad Munaki. Pola Vad Munaki? Wait a second. I thought so. Oren and Beetle just filed a kidnapping report on her. Could you upload us that report, Fredo? SPA. Thanks. I hate coincidences. Yeah, what do we got here? Criminal record, none. Prior drug history, none. Sound like a typical flash dealer to you? Well, no, but it's the only lead we've got. Ah, don't forget Peru. You take Peru, I'm gonna take Pola. <laughs> all you want, Pola. Isolinium. Completely soundproof. I won't work for you again, Carmel. You perverted my research. You accepted our money. Until I found out you were selling HE11 on the street. Unlicensed. <laughs> Paula, it takes years to get a license. We simply had to cut some corners. And kill innocent people? We were as disappointed with that unfortunate side effect as you. You are going to eliminate that side effect. I won't do it. You can't make me. Do you know this address? 
Oh. I see. Well, then you won't mind if Morga were to say, dismember everyone who lives there? Welcome back, Paula. See you later, Prime Ancients. I'm planet bound. Yo, wait a minute, pal. I'm staying at Torx, Dad. The tournament's running all weekend. I spoke with the Inca this morning. It's fine. Bye, sweetie. Tomorrow. Have fun. <laughs> Take no prisoners, man. Dad? Zill says I really need to talk to you. Sure, hon. What's up? Well, there's this class project I gotta write. It's called A Parent's Day. Parent's Day, uh huh? Mm hmm. And I'm gonna write all about what a great policeman you are. Hmm. All right, all right, I'll ask him. Don't be so pushy. <laughs> um, ask me what, honey? Well, the point of the project is to actually see what goes on in your day. The station's not a very good place for a little kid, honey. I'm sorry. I'm not a little kid. I'm almost 11. Yeah, I know, but it's just not a real great idea. I mean, why don't you write about mom's work? If I wanted to write about mom's work, I would have asked her. Zil says you aren't being very nice, Daddy. I think Zil's got a point. So, Creons, if you suffer from Creon chiropodic disorder, just dial feet. That's F-E-E-T. Coming up next, Ernie Grissom with the Slam Ball highlights of the week and his special guest, the greatest crossover rollout bumper the game has ever seen. What's a Peru? It's a country on Earth. Ah, yes. <laughs> Your arbitrary political divisions. When will you humans wake up to planetary government, honestly? In this case, it's a dial code. Peru translates to 737 egg. We found it in Drew's apartment. And it just so happens to be the private internal number of our good buddy, Dr. Henry Jansen. An intercam? Ah. It will give you all the confidence you never had, my dear. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It looks the same. I've altered the ratio and lengthened the catalyzation period. Margot? Bring that lizard. <sighs> Margo, do you still have that address? I know I'm close. Give me a few more days, please. You've got 26 hours. Or rather, your parents do. Nice try, Pola. <laughs> Flash don't work on more girl. <laughs> this is rather stupid, Henry. The cops have been to see me. They may be tapping my line. Are they on to us? They're asking the right questions. Which means whether Paul has cracked the design floor or not. We've got to go. I've given her 26 hours and plenty of motivation. All right, I'll clean up at intercam. As soon as she's done, dismantle everything and load it into the transit. Make sure we have enough fuel to get to the planet Danny. We'll take the Earth shuttle from there. I think Earthlings will enjoy a little ego boosting. And Pola? When she's done, give it to Morgo. Um, take these to disposal, Tanya, and I want you to wipe the computer files. 
Dr. Jansen. Officer Haldane, Brogan. Delighted to see you again. How may I help you? You've got a warrant to search the premises? Vat, every flask, every test tube in every lab at Intichem. Nothing. So, what we're saying here is that we have Dr. Henry Jansen in the lockup. And we have no evidence. I hope you fellas have got something up your sleeves besides ours. Captain, Brogan and Haldane asked us to check out some addresses from Jansen's database. The guy's a real prince. We thought you might like to see what we found down in Zone 7. Plus a dealer who's willing to name names. The secret of our success? Timing. Captain, Jansen's got a visitor. One Carmel Matthews. Sounds like an invitation to me, gentlemen. To be honest, Henry, I don't know why I've come. Our relationship ended so long ago. Well, I'm glad you did. Carmel, I had nowhere else to turn. This is all so alarming. You, of all people, behind bars. Oh, it's all some kind of horrible mistake. Sweetheart, I want you to know that I'm innocent. Paula must have set me up. How dare you mention her name in my presence? Hey, hey, hey! Behave. And to think I actually felt sorry for you. And all you could do is talk about Paula. Ain't love grand. Yes, Officer Haldane. Love is grand. That's easy for you to say, Lieutenant. But you're not dealing with the dirtbags out there in the street. Stand by for more exciting police action in Denver Honey, City Blues. Do we have After to? These words from our local sponsor. No, we don't have to. Something I did? No. Just something you didn't do. Well, you know, Trina's mother is taking her to Moon Station One where she works as an astrophysicist. And Ilana's father is taking her to the transit factory where he works. Yeah, okay, okay, I get the picture. Why don't you take her to the hospital? She doesn't want to go to the hospital. Honey, if I walk into the 88th with a kid on my arm, Potley's gonna cut me off at the knees. Patrick Brogan, your captain is not the issue here and you know it. <sighs> All right, I admit it. I want my kid to be something more than just some cop walking a beat. You're not just some cop walking a beat. You're my cop walking a beat. And besides that, I think it's a little early to be worried about her career choices, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The answer's still no. It is? I mean it. Absolutely no way. Mm -hmm. It won't work. Mm -hmm. How old is she? Ten, almost eleven, Captain. Ah, my daughter was the same way at that age, but she watches all the cop shows, right? <sighs> yes, sir, that's my Liz. Mm. Well, I have to tell you, I did the same thing myself. Took my daughter to the station for a few hours, gave her the guided tour, usual stuff. I don't see why you shouldn't do it, too, but only for a couple of hours, right? Uh, at, at most, Captain. Uh, by the way, um, when you did that with your daughter. Ah, it worked out great. She's a detective over on the 38th now. Finally found a partner tough enough for you, huh? <laughs> Base police officers are chosen for their exceptional sense of humor. Wow, Tremo.
Okay. Jane, Tookie, say hello to Liz. Hiya, Liz. So, are you gonna be Brogan's new partner? <laughs> Officers are also chosen for their originality. Pretty tough requirements, huh? Mm. Hey, look what we found for you in stores. <laughs> Welcome to the DCPD, Officer Brogan. We ought to use you on the recruitment posters. Yeah. Something wrong, Brogan? No. <clears throat> I was just gonna tell Liz how much dull and boring paperwork we have to do. The paperwork is boring, right? But it's more than made up for by the excitement of high-speed chases. Catching criminals. Coffee and donuts. Sweet. Yeah, come on, Liz. We got work to do. I really could use some muscle in here. You really should push on, dear. You're running out of time. And so is Mommy and Daddy. Finally decided to show up for work, Helding? Yeah, I thought an appearance would be in order. I know I'll regret this, but may I ask why you crawl in here at least 20 minutes late almost every morning? It's simple. I'm still on Earth time. I'm used to a 24-hour day with one moon. Here I get a 26-hour day with I don't know how many moons. I think my internal clock's still a little confused. So is your excuse. Hey. I think she likes you. You think so? Nah. What are you doing here? Did Brogan put in for a new partner? Don't worry, Jack. We'll let you go on patrol with us once in a while. Late again, Haldane. Uh, sir, uh, yes. I'd love to hear your excuse. If you can spare the time, that is. My office. Excuse me, officer? What do you want? How do you feel? Okay. No, I don't. I feel like great. Shh. Keep your voice down. Now, will you please open this door? No way. But you're great. You're the greatest police officer the force has ever had. If you open this door, guess what would happen? Uh, you'd escape. Right. But you would recapture me. Because you are that terrific. Open the door. All right, then. But I'm going to recapture you just like that. <laughs> does not match my records. Identify immediately. Officer Liz Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan's new partner. Uh, don't move. I, I, I am finding your picture now. Thank you, Officer uh, Brogan. Report to records of five for a voice print and DNA scan. Goodbye. Bye. Boss giving you a hard time? Yeah. There's bugs about doing things by the book, but they don't have to deal with the dirt bags out there. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Access denied. Hold it right there. 
Anybody get the number of that truck? Carmel. No time for chit-chat, darling. Wrap things up. I'll be waiting for you, Henry. I'm on my way. APB escaped prison in cruiser 304X, last seen headed downtown. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Get a fix on him yet? No, but we'll get him when he hits atmosphere. Officer Liz Broben would like some uh, juice. Isn't she with you? We got him. Coordinates? 801 Mark 7. Yeah, go get him, Daddy. What are you doing here? Watch out, Dad! Ah. Somewhere. Ten year old down there? Yeah, I don't think so. Dad, you're losing him. He's taking us over the magnetite refinery. Huh, terrific. Massive music. Turn it off. Hang on, Liz. Whoa, massive. Congratulations, Paula. You seem to have... Keep a fix on him. Great. Going to scan her. No good. The magnetite dust has shut us down. <sighs> Damn it. Daddy. We lost him. Better notify immigration, make sure he doesn't jump the planet. Right. And we're taking you home, young lady. Morgo, I'll bring the transit to the side entrance. Henry will be arriving at any minute. She's all yours. Here. Eat dirt. That's cutting it rather fine. I had to take a slight detour. We're just about to load up. And Paula? Morgo is dealing with her now. You've got to help me. I'm being held prisoner. 
423 West 53rd. Uh, come quickly. Help is on its way. We copy Fredo. 423 West 53rd. Keep back, or I'll shoot. Not unless you load it first. This is where we bid adieu, Paula. But... Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna leave you. Someone will find you, someday. I'm sure. Thanks for everything. Well, this is the right address. Great. I love chasing around Demeter after crank calls. Jensen! Cruiser. Gotta go, Daddy. <laughs> He's got an HDB. Oh, swell. She dead? Stunned. Dr. Jansen! We need to talk! Doctor! Lay down your weapons, if you don't mind. Give it up, Jansen. You've got nowhere to go. Jansen, move clear! Yes, Brogan. Jansen case concluded. And, um, I think a mop. I gotta get Liz back before something else happens. That's a crying shame, partner. Oh, 
Come on. Did I ever tell you what I used to do when I was a kid? No. What? Well, after I'd add the uh, chocolate syrup, and da -da -da -da, I'd take a spoon, and I'd mix the whole thing up into a chocolate malt. Voila! The Brogan Swirl. Thanks, Dad. Mm. Liz, um, you don't have to tell your mother, you know, everything. About what? About today. Why not? Well, you know how moms are. She might not understand. <clears throat> Hi, honey. Hiya. Hey, the broken swirl. You know, your dad always used to make that for me when he wanted something. Mom, hmm? you'll never guess what happened today. Honey, I can explain. Oh, let's let Liz explain. After all, it was her adventure. Go ahead, sweetie. Well, I learned something really important today. And that is? I know what I want to do when I grow up. Well, if you really want to be a cop. A cop? Cop work's boring. I want to be a country and western singer. <laughs> you do? <laughs> great. That's great. Wait a minute. Cop work is boring? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.